Well, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. I hope yours <laughs> was better than mine. And I hope that this winter storm that's blowing through right now is, is, is that y'all are okay. Uh, it's just not getting here. It's been cold, wet all day. Never got above freezing today. We were supposed to be supposedly be at a high of 38 we never got above 31 and it's dropping there were expected snow about an hour ago the snow in texas is rare especially in my part of texas but it happens y'all so ah, i'm still waiting crossing fingers they've already canceled school texas is like whoa there's there's some precipitation in the air let's cancel school ah, ah, it is what it is <laughs> anyway y'all so when i got home today from work um I actually had three surprises waiting on me, and so uh, I want to go ahead and let's let's just do these these. I got two mail calls, and I got a gift from my wife, uh, which is very surprising because she very rarely ever even thinks about diecast, let alone thinks about her husband that collects diecast. <laughs> but this first mail call, let me get it cut open, is from our buddy Paul over at uh, Ford Fan Diecast. So, uh, okay, okay. Oh, shoot, that's a lot of bubble wrap, man. Bro, this is packaged very nicely. Uh, again, uh, this box is too big for my desk, but appreciate the bubble wrap because I need it. We actually made, he actually reached out to me. Oh my God. Okay, cool. Super cool, super cool. I'm not freaking out, y'all. I'm not freaking out. He actually reached out to me and said, hey, I got some cards I want to send to you. And I said, hey, uh, don't just send it to me. I said, let's trade. What are you looking for? So we worked out a, a little trade because he had uh, some Zamex that I haven't seen. And I said, yeah, I absolutely do need that. And I said, this is what I got, you know. And so we traded for some cards. And I think uh, he's already put out a video. I watched it the other day, a couple days ago. And he sent me a picture the other day and said, hey, here's your tracking. My package has been sent out. So I said, fantastic, man. So this is the one that he messaged me about. And I'm super fan fantastic to you that he reached out to me because this Pagani is super sweet and is Zamac. Hello, I love Zamac. So uh, yeah, man, this thing is fantastic. And I'm glad he showed me this because I hadn't seen this. And he sent me a picture of this one as well that he had that he had wanted to send. So we traded also. Um, I only found one of the white one and that's all I need. I got the white one and I got the Zamac and I'm happy with that, man. So thank you very much, Paul. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thinking about me and reaching out to me. And I said, I would rather trade with y'all than y'all just send me stuff. I mean, I love your generosity, but I like trading and I don't, you know, I, I just don't want to feel like I'm ever taking advantage of y'all. I don't. Um, it, it, if we trade car for car, I am cool with that. You know, if I buy something from you, that's all I expect. I don't expect you to send extra. But I appreciate y'all that do. Uh, I understand where your heart's at. My heart is the same way. Hey, you know, always give more. It, it's better to give than to receive is, is my feeling. And uh, yeah, and I just feel like I, I, I don't want you to ever feel that I'm taking advantage of you, you know, because y'all want to send extra stuff. I appreciate everything you send. I really do. But thank you, Paul, for that awesome trade. And then he sent in these two that I was not expecting. And this one is quickly becoming my new favorite. The Dollar General Exclusive Impala. Fantastic. This car is just fantastic, man. Uh, I'm glad that Dollar General got something as sweet as this and not just some random, uh, let's throw a yellow paint on this and get, say it's a Dollar General Exclusive. No, this, this car is freaking fantastic. Fantastic, man. Thank you for sending me that. And this one, I know I would never, ever have fun. I did not know about this one. Uh, I did not know about that Impala either, man. But this one, bro, this has been on my list of hoping to find. Look at that treasure hunt, man. Absolutely, the surf crate is a crazy. This one, the quarter mile coupe. Uh, any of these slooped front end ones, man, I just absolutely love. So... Thank you, Paul, over at Ford Fan Diecast for this fantastic, fantastic little trade. Love it, man. Absolutely love it. And uh, 
I got the, I got the Snoopy up there, the Cecil said, because I just love that little casting. And it's, it's a nice placeholder so I can keep my focus on the camera, you know. Um, this one is a mail call from a brother on Instagram, uh, Brother Dank Diecast. A lot of you the guys that are active on Instagram, uh, I know a lot of y'all that know me also know Dank. And you also know that Brother Dank gets in trouble a lot on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's been banned more times and blocked and uh dude i love him i love him to death you know he he's not terribly far from me i want to say an hour and a half or so maybe maybe two hours from me and we may have to meet up someday he's, he's a great guy and i like talking to him you know uh okay i don't know how to open this box <laughs> bear with me y'all bear with me I'm just going to cut through the side and start ripping tape. Trying not to rip his address is what I'm trying not to do. Oh, God. Cheese and crackers. I think Brother Dank has stock in tape. <laughs> and there's an envelope in here. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, I think I tore part of the letter, but that's okay, brother. That's okay. Cheese and crackers, brother. Oh my God. Woo! Okay. There was no one at the postal service gonna be inspecting this one for customs. <laughs> oh, chill. I'm, woo, I'm out of breath, y'all. <laughs> I am out of breath. I, man. Must have used two rolls of tape on this sucker. Okay, there's one layer of tape. Cheese and crackers. I could shingle my whole house with that. <laughs> uh, okay. More cutting. More cutting. Bro, I... Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. Wow, dude. I wow. Whoa. Okay. Uh... I am, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the box. I, I, wow! I don't, I don't even know how this box works. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it, man. I'm just gonna cut one side of it and pray for the best. I am pointing the knife away from me. Uh, cheese and crackers. Whoa! Whatever's in here is highly valuable because. <laughs> He made sure that no one could get into it. Man, thank you, Brother Dank. All right, all right. So I see some. Okay, there's something there. Whoa, okay. There's something there. Some bubble wrap. Oh, no way, dude. Seriously, that's cool. That's absolutely cool. All right, first off the bat. And I don't have one carded. <laughs> the Homer Mobile, man. <laughs> Thumbs up, Homer. The Homer Mobile. Put the mother-in-law in the back. <laughs> or the sister-in-law's in his case. Absolutely, man. Ah, dude, that thing just cracks me up. I do have one of these. I've got it loose sitting over there on my uh, TV stand in the garage. The Homer, man. Fantastic. Dude, thank you. That just made my day. And then we got a little container here. And it looks, oh heck yeah, dude. He gave me a nice set of wheels. Oh, these are sweet. These are absolutely sweet. Just nice, nice wheels, man. Low profile, black rims, and then a whole bunch of decals in there. Dude, you are a lifesaver, man. Absolutely a lifesaver, Brother Dank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, I know what this is. He told me that he was making me a custom. Let's go ahead and zoom this in. So we can take a look at this. He told me he was sending me a custom. And... Oh, bro. Bro, bro, bro. I like this. He sent me a 55 gasser 
but would you look at that shimmer up in there there is a nice nice shimmer into that paint it looks white until you move it into the, the color shifting light right there man it's like real pearlescent that is absolutely gorgeous man uh, I, dude you're coming along really well with your customs absolutely fantastic love it absolutely love it man and uh, now that Cecil sent me some hard cases I'll be able to put this inside there and uh, display it up here on the wall heck yeah man dude thank you so much you know I love talking to you I know we don't talk as much as we should but you know I work all day long and stuff and I know you've got your issues and you know things going on in your life but every time we talk, man, I enjoy talking to you. And I appreciate you thinking about me enough to do me a custom. And, uh, bro, just thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it, Brother Dank. So, leave that spin around for a second. I'm going to go ahead and zoom this back out. Because, oh, not that far. Shoot. No, not that far. Oh, ah, how about there? How about there? So, my wife, her sister has been visiting us since Friday and she tried to wait hang on a second hang on a second let me read this letter shoot i, I forgot about the letter from brother dank well good we're still looking at the car charles thank you for being a good and cherished friend i love the customs that you took time to make for us both i made one for him and his son now who, who is also a charles uh for the time to make for us both and in return made a custom gasser for you as well and to fill space threw in a couple of random acts of kindness and a bowl of mystery slides and a set of wheels for your next custom your friend dank brother dank i appreciate that man i i, I appreciate you a hundred percent a thousand percent man you're a good dude and you know what a lot of people may not understand your points of view in the world but i do and I share a lot of them that you do. And you're not afraid to speak out for uh, things that you think are wrong. And I like that even better. I like that a lot, man. That's an admirable character in a person, in my opinion. So, uh, Brother Dank, I wish you the best of well with your health and everything else. And, uh, Again, thank you for this awesome custom. Thank you for the extras. Fantastic, man. You didn't have to do it, but I appreciate it. So, as I was saying, my wife and uh, my sister-in-law, she's visiting since Friday. Well, they went to the Goodwill bins because my sister-in-law is a Goodwill bin addict. <laughs> I, I went once, and if you ever get a chance to go to the Goodwill bins, it is an experience. And, yeah. Yeah, one time was enough for me. <laughs> I don't need anybody else's junk that bad to fight other people for it and shove people out of the way. Uh, I, I'm a peaceful kind of guy, you know. But anyway, my wife came home and she said, oh, we went to the Goodwill Bins today and I found you something. So she brought out this sweet, sweet little jewelry box. Let me zoom this out. Oh, hold on. So she brought me this sweet box, right? And... I thought maybe she found me a watch, some cufflinks. Then I saw this 50th anniversary NASCAR, 1948 to 1998. And I opened it up. Let me go ahead and take this plastic off of this because y'all got to see this. Y'all have got to see this. So inside it is a gold number 35 NASCAR Tabasco sauce. And there's a certificate of authenticity that it's been 24 karat gold plated. I've never seen this. <laughs> so let me move Brother Dang's car off the way and take this jewel out. But would you look at this? Would you look at that? Man, who would give this to Goodwill? <laughs> it's like I wouldn't even let my own kid touch this. You know, I, this is just fantastic. And I want to say that's a Pontiac Grand Am. And give me just a sec. Try not to get my fingerprints all over it, y'all. But the hood opens too. All in gold. Man, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 
yeah, my wife actually bought me a car. <laughs> she actually bought me diecast, man. I could not believe it. So, anyway, I just had to show that off because I thought it was fantastic. And uh, go ahead and put that back in that beautiful box right there. So, that's all I got, y'all. I want to make a short video. We're already at 15 minutes. Still got company. Uh, the weather has changed. Her flight's been canceled, so she'll be with us for a little while. And, uh, man, as always, uh, first I want to say thank you all for the generosity that this community has shown me. And thank you for the likes and subscribes. And thank you for people like Brother Dank. You know, we're friends on Instagram. We chat all the time. Uh, thank you for thinking about me. I made you a custom for you and your boy because, you know, I think you're a great, a great dude. And uh, it was fun for me. And, uh, man, just little things like this, like slides and decals and, and, and a carded car of something I already have. Fantastic, man. I appreciate that. Small packages are the best. I love them. And thank you to Paul over at Ford Fan Diecast for the awesome trade for the Zamax because Zamax are hard to find. Y'all know that. That's like gold. <laughs> uh, literally like gold. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, fantastic, man. Let me go ahead and shut this off. The cold battery's gonna kill it. But, uh, yeah. And thank you to my beautiful wife, my beautiful bride of 30 years, for thinking about me when she was out having fun with her sister. So that's it, y'all. As always, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Until the next time we're at the garage, I'll see you later, Grease Monkeys.